this episode is divided into two parts because it's pretty long. So do look up for part two. One, two, three. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Coffee Chat. I'm Anson. I'm Sangwa, and we're from Eastern Music. Music. So Eastern Music is a company that started in 1978 and we do all kinds of things related to Chinese music instruments like we sell instruments, we offer music lessons and we do repairs and restoration as well. Hmm. So Anson, what have you been up to lately? Okay, so actually I'm quite into this um, mobile game for the past few months. <laughs> ah, mobile game, what kind of mobile game? Okay, so there's this game called uh, Pokemon Unite. I'm not sure if you heard of it before. I've heard of Pokemon, but not ah, Unite. So, have you heard of games like uh, Mobile Legend, Dota, those types? So, it's a yeah. multiplayer online battle arena game. Ah, so, okay. they, they adapted it into a Pokemon style with Pokemon, cute little Pokemon running ah, around, ah, ah, dunking okay. ghosts. And uh, so, in this kind of games, right, there's always like this huge rosters of like uh, playable characters. Mm. So, uh, and there are always like different categories, like there's defend, uh, Defensor, attacker, speedster, mm-hmm. all this. So I realized actually it, and oh yeah, and these games usually they have a lot of uh, players, and they'll have their own YouTube channel, and they'll be ranking all these um gamer, uh, this uh, ranking all these characters, characters. Yeah. yeah, into like different tiers. So there's this tier list for these games, uh, this season of Pokemon Unite. So I was just thinking, right? Actually, this huge roster of play uh characters, right, is like a orchestra you know orchestra instrument you have you have the plucking you have the strings you have the woodwinds it's like the defense the attacker the supporter <laughs> all these things so i was thinking it would be quite fun if we do a our own version of chinese orchestra tier list aha uh-huh. uh, yes 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 so what are the um I'm sure the tier list, they have different uh, segments and sections. Like criteria. Yeah, criteria. Yes, yeah, yes. So uh, recently, the, the video that I watched, uh, the, the, the video is like, oh, this instrument, uh, this character, <laughs> this game character needs to uh, be buffed or need to nerf, this kind of thing. So I think uh, we should come up with our own criteria as well for this tier list. And I think we can come up with four. Uh, mm. ranking criteria okay and how we're going to go about is in each of these criteria we're going to have from an s rank <laughs> to a c rank so wait hang on hang on s rank would be the mm, best like the rank. Best. Yeah. okay s followed by a b c s a b c yeah okay. that's right that's mm, right mm. okay so the first criteria will be <clears throat> ease of picking up the instrument okay what do you mean by that um so meaning like uh you first encounter the instrument and it just s- it's easy to pick up, it's easy to learn, it's easy to make a sound. Okay, you know? yeah, I suppose it's easy to uh, make a decent sound um, <laughs> out of it. I mean, without going into it um, yeah. first, <laughs> um, instruments like pianos. Pianos, yeah, piano, because you know the, the, the notes are all there, you just need to press down, then all oh, the note is there already, yes. versus maybe violin. Violin would yeah. be like maybe the C tier, the because, last tier yeah, because th- there's no frets for you. There's no frets and you need to work on your and it's bowing. Such a, uh, awkward position. Is it is it awkward? I'm not sure. You're the violinist. <laughs> it, it it is a little bit awkward. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, so, yes. So so the first uh will be ease of um, picking, picking up, up the, the instrument. instrument. Yes. yes. So the second uh criteria would be um versatility. So in terms of like is the instrument able to play solo? accompaniment or they're just solely the type of instrument that can play melody they can't do any accompaniment all right so for example um a piano a piano, <laughs> piano versus a violin yes a piano yeah. can play um it's definitely a versatile instrument yes it can play melody it. plus the accompaniment yes it's, it's very well accompaniment <laughs> yes and i suppose the violin usually is only used to play a, a melody Second, yeah yeah that's right but uh, sometimes a violin still can be used to play um, accompaniment, some accompaniment. Yeah, but it's still more melodious, you know, like more phrasing kind of. So, for example, flute will be difficult to play accompaniment. Ah, okay. Or even, let's take a very... Trumpet? Oh, mm. yeah, okay. the, the more blasting type of instrument. Okay, yeah. so yeah, we're just so using... So versatility. Yes. So the third criteria will be ease of listening. So we had ease of picking up. So this is ease of listening. 
So it's from the uh, listener's perspective, like higher register instrument versus low register instrument. Yeah, again, we <laughs> let, let's take Western instruments uh, just as an example before we go into Chinese instruments. Mm-hmm. The one on um, having an S tier would be to me like clarinet, flute. It's very. Bassoon. Um, it's very bassoon, bassoon. It's kind of okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but maybe a bit too bassy and uh, ah, too, okay, to me. Yeah. So, so that can be quite a, a thing to discuss. Like yes, maybe yes. instrument that's in a too bassy range might be annoying to some people. So we would know. I'm sure that um, those things like trumpet is irritating to people because it's very loud and it's very sharp. Okay, mm-hmm. so what's next? Okay, so mm. that's the ease of listening. Yes. And finally, the fourth criteria will be maintenance. Uh, so meaning uh, how easy it is to keep the instrument in its playable state. For example, the Western instrument I can think of is maybe the violin. It uh, could be quite easy to maintain. Look at Stradivarius. Like, so many years is still usable. It's still being passed around in such a high value instrument. Yeah, and the uh, accessories is very easy to replace. Like just you know, string, replace the strings and occasionally, <laughs> and the bow. Yeah, so it is relatively it. <laughs> easy to maintain it. It is in its decent playing uh, condition, as opposed to maybe a um, maybe wind instrument, maybe bronze. With yeah. instrument brass, brass. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> bronze age. <Asia. laughs> yeah. What What about brass instruments that is difficult to? I wouldn't maintain? know. Eh. Mm. I just know every time they finish playing, they have to remove the valve and then like <laughs> drip okay. all the condensation. <laughs> okay. Anyway, that's uh. Yeah, we so are just that's using that criteria, yeah. criteria for the uh, tier list for Chinese uh, orchestra instruments. And before we jump into it, why don't we just list down the instruments that we'll be categorizing it into the tier list? Okay, today. what are yeah, they? So, uh, in the strings, we have erhu, gaohu, zhonghu. So the very standard two string instruments we see in the orchestra. Of course, we're going to exclude the cello and bass because this is more towards the Chinese instruments. So in plucked, we have yang qing, liu qing, pi pa, zhong ran, da ran, gu zheng, and gu qing. In the wind, we have bang di, qu di, gao ying sona, zhong ying sona, I mean the soprano sona, the alto sona, guan, uh, sheng. So in sheng, we also have the soprano, gao ying sheng, zhong ying sheng, alto sheng, hu lu si, ba wu, xun, and finally the xiao. So Anson, um, we're probably the first company that started this probably in the English-speaking world. Yeah, for this, Chinese instruments, I really Chinese think this is uh, a new boundary <laughs> for us to step into. <laughs> well, anyway, it's just for fun. Yeah, so that's right. So please do not uh, take offense at anything. And if you have any comments or if you do disagree, please just let us know. You know, we can do an <laughs> update of tier list. That yeah, always happens, right? Yeah, that always happens in games, you know, there's a patch update and tier list update also. Yeah, and because uh, Anson is mainly in plug string yeah, instruments. Of course, we'll keep it as unbiased as possible. <laughs> yeah, and I my forte is in strings and I do know a bit of plug string instruments. So there are some instruments which we, maybe we do not know it well enough. Ah, uh, okay. All right, let's jump straight into the first criteria, which is ease of picking up. So we're looking at the strings category now. Erhu, Gaohu, Zhonghu. Laoban, what do you think? Well, I think for Hu Qin's, I would give it a C tier. A C tier? Yeah. Right straight off already at the final bottom of this. <laughs> Why? Um, Hu Qin's as in Er, Hu Gao, Hu Zhong, Hu, mm. they are all um, difficult to pick up because you need to um, get a good grasp of your bowing before it starts to sound good. Mm. And your left hand, there's no fret. Yeah, there's no fretboard. So you have to have a speech idea of pitching also. Yes, if not, it will sound really, really bad. So, so it's fair to say we're just going to lump all these three Hu things into the C tier of this category. Yes, so among the three of them, Er Hu will be easier to pick up. Zhong Hu and Gao Hu are slightly more difficult to play, but I would say C tier for all of them. Mm. All right, so we can move on to the plug string now. Yes. So Yang Qing, I mean, what do you think? Because I, I already have a tear in my heart already. I would say S. As tier. Yeah, it's easier. Yang Qing is something like the piano. Yeah, so the, the strings are all there, you know, instead of using your fingers to press, <laughs> you just use sticks to hit. 
you all you have to do is uh, do two things. Your wrist must be correct, and then you just really remember where your notes are, and you're good to go. Yeah. So I would say S tier for Yang Qing. Mm. Yeah, for the ease of sounding good, and also from easy the beginning. to pick up. So mm. in that notion, so I would say Gu Cheng might be in S tier too. What do you think? Yeah, Gu Chen is in S tier too. You yeah. know, when you just pluck it, run your fingers down the street. It already sounds so nice yeah, because sounds... of the tuning is in pentatonic and you can't go wrong. No, I, I, I had this analogy because yesterday I was tuning the Gucheng, right? I mm. was thinking, so the Gucheng sounds nice because you can just plug any notes and it sounds like a song already. Like, you can play Chang Hai Yi Sheng Xiao, it's la so mi re do. Or mo li hua, mm. ease of playing mo li hua. Mi mi so la do do la so so. So you can play everything on the Gucheng set. So definitely an S tier in my books. Okay. Sure. Yes, moving down the list, Pi Pa. I would say it's C tier, like what you think. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Although pipa looks like yeah, it's something that string. is easy to yeah, play. But there's so many techniques. Yeah, first you need to put on um, five fake nails, five, fingernails. Yeah. Versus Guzheng is four. And then almost each uh, finger has its own practice to do. So, mm, yeah, mm. so pipa. <laughs> I mean, I do teach some school uh, plug string section, and pipa is really my nightmare. <laughs> yeah, and the, the strings. Are tuned in a very funny way. I think pipa players would disagree, but I mean, yeah. why would they have two, two strings that is just uh, one one tone, one tone apart? One tone D and yeah. E, A D E A. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, quite an interesting instrument. <laughs> interesting. I use that word lightly. <laughs> so, and not to mention that mm. it is very heavy. You know, back okay la, Most you of know? the instrument that we're gonna move down in this set category is called Yang is very heavy, what? But, you but at least you we hold don't put it, it on our lap. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to put it on our lap. It only pains us if we have to carry it around. Yes, yeah. yes. So pipa C tier. I'm sorry, pipa players. <laughs> so Zhong Ruan, I would say it's a it's B. Yeah, I would say it's a B. Yeah, because even, um, I think between. B and A like that, but the high B. Wait, 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 wait. I think it's A. A, yeah. Okay, I, why? I would put it at A because your right hand, you just need to learn one motion, which oh, is yeah, versus or two motions are uh, Tan, Tiao. Yeah. yeah, and any variation of this is just a faster or slower version of the Tan and Tiao. Like Lun is just a, you just need to play more Tan, Tiao only, that's it. Something like that, yes, yes. Yeah, in a general sense, uh, don't, yeah. come, don't come after <laughs> us. Uh. And the left hand is... Uh, relatively easier and the tuning also makes uh, progression of the scales easier also yeah because there are um, like, yeah, certain patterns like yeah. GD GD yeah then mm. it's easy to run up the scale up, up and down the scale so easier than easier than pipa, pipa yes. <laughs> so Zhongran we put it in A tier and Zhongran Liu Qing we lump it in the same family learning family because of the tuning but I would still think Liu Qing I'll put it in B tier because of the strings Okay. Yeah, it's thinner. Yeah, I, I agree. And it, and I think when you pick up this instrument, I think luting players can relate to this. You will break your first string so often. Mm. Yeah, and for me, I, I picked up the luting at, at one point in my life <laughs> and it really turned me off. <laughs> so and everything about the here. yeah, everything about the routine is smaller. When when the thing is smaller, you have to your your Control. movements are you have to be more dainty. more concise, <laughs> yes, and and I don't know, scrunch your fingers together or what. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. uh, moving down the list, Da Ran. Da Ran, da ran is it? It's like Ran also, but, yeah. but it's not small like Liu Qing, but it's way bigger than a Zhong Ran. So it's quite bigger. Mm. It, no, well, no, it's quite bigger. It is bigger. It is bigger and mm -hmm. it's difficult to handle. The strings are very tight and it's very heavy. Yeah, but I think, up. disclaimer, usually people who play zhong, uh, da ran, right, they have to start off with zhong ran also, like the gao hu, zhong hu, you have to start off with the er hu first, right? Mm. So, in da ran, in the sense of da ran, what do you think? I think it would be a B. B, just because of the sheer size of it. Mm, and yes. the, 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 the distance between the frets also. The distance between the mm. frets and the tension of the strings. Yeah, mm. so, yep. so, that's that for the runs. So then how about gu qing? Gu mm -hmm. um, Very interesting, ah, this mm. one. I would say C tier. Actually, before that, I would say uh, maybe A tier. <gasps> For Gu Qing? Yeah, but after you you brought up some of the oh, points. Oh, yeah, so we, 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 we did chat about it. Mm. So Gu Qing, right, it's an instrument where you have to slide your finger on the strings in order to get a note. It's Okay, just imagine a mountain dulcimer or a violin, but on the table. Then you have to slide your fingers 
the 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 side of your thumb and mm. I believe when people started learning they have to apply a bit of Vaseline to make it mm. to make the process more uh, less painful yeah okay I, I, I would say it's in the B and C but then again Kuching is such a um, rare instrument in our books I would say B mm. because um, for the fact that the strings are already tuned to a pentatonic oh, yeah, way yeah, yeah, that's in a sense like, yeah. so when you Pluck it using your right hand. It does sounds nice. Okay, yeah, fair point. Also, it's just that the left hand when you're doing it funny hurts. things, <laughs> it might yes. So in agreement, B or C? What do you think? I would I would say B. Okay, then we shall put it in the B tier for the ease of learn uh picking up for Kuching. Okay, now the win. Bang di chu di. I would say B tier. Hmm. For all the teeth, uh, like the both teeth, uh, huh? yeah, yeah, I think so too. Because learning wind instrument, especially something like teeth, right, you have to talk about your embouchure. It's not like the sheng where you just blow into a pipe, then the sound come out already. Yes. Yeah. The, and then, uh, because customer come in, and then we have to like describe to them the feeling of how to play the teeth. So we always say, oh, try to imagine you play play uh, blow into a glass bottle and you want to make a sound you don't blow directly into it, the, the, all these angles and then some people learn for like 2-3 months and they, they still sound like they're licking air like <laughs> 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 that's me now also uh, <laughs> well don't play titsu but I, I would say kudos to all the titsu players out there because this is such a B tier <laughs> instrument in terms of picking up <laughs> it's not easy to pick up so kudos to them also okay yes so Pang Di in the B tier mm. how about Suona Going sona, going sona. C. I would say it's a C tier. I would say C. Yeah, be, because the intonation is although you get a sound, you you need to adjust your mouth to get the correct intonation, right? It's not just that. Uh, like you need to make a sound through the reed is already such a difficult task. I mean, some some people can just get it right off the bat, but some people really cannot like activate their diaphragm or something like that you know mm. it's not and not a very straightforward instrument even though it looks like it it's the reed the reed is the one oh. that's really causing okay so speaking of reed right I would say even guan is in this category also C tier just because of its sheer difficulty of picking up guan huh? mm. yes I would say C tier mm. for guan and sona sounds reasonable yeah mm. but then we have the other spectrum which is the sheng what do you think? I would say it's an A tier. Sheng is an A tier. Mm. But um, I think there's a difference between Gao Ying Sheng and Zhong Ying Sheng, right? Zhong Ying Sheng is... Um, Requires... You're just pressing but notes, it's the, not notes. Oh, yeah. True, true, true. So Zhong Ying Sheng, right? There's a few uh, versions of Zhong Ying Sheng, but we're talking about the uh, button one, not the keyboard shape one, the button pai, Zhong Ying Pai Sheng. So all you have to do is just play into a pipe and press the corresponding keys mm. in order to make a sound so Zhong Ying Sheng yes I would say it's an A tier yes or even S tier ease of playing mm. I would I don't know <laughs> because you need to use a breath oh yeah then you, you might tire out like get breathless or so true so A tier sounds like a mm. but what about so what did you like differentiate the Zhong Ying Sheng and Gao Ying Sheng um, the Gao Ying Sheng um, you have to cover the, the holes whole the side. Sometimes like inside also. Yes, it just seems very complicated to me. So B tier for Zhong Gao Ying Sheng. Yeah, B tier. Okay, and finally we have the Hulu Shi Ba Wu Xun and Xiao De, lesser known uh, wind instruments in the orchestra, but surprisingly quite popular amongst like non orchestra players. I would say Hulu Shi and Ba Wu, um, they are all S tier. Ah, because you just need to play into it then there's a sound coming out already yes yes Shun C tier just like the Di Zi I don't know just like the Sona Shun ha, yes it's no, even no, more no. difficult than than a Di Zi like the control is you have to be even more more control in your embouchure okay but Shun doesn't can Shun play octaves yeah I can but it's limited law and the uh, way you play octave is also your breath control. So okay, yeah, okay. the speed of your air. Maybe C tier. Mm -hmm. Okay, Xiao, <laughs> the last one. Xiao, I would put it in the same tier as Di Zi. 
Mm. But people usually say Xiao is more difficult yeah, than a Di Zhen. I, I would put it in C also. All right, let's put it in C then. Okay, so okay. we have our first criteria done tier list for the instrument piece of picking up. So uh, for people who are, list- are watching this, I mean, you're listening now, but if we will eventually have video, right, we're going to put this chart up on the video and also we'll be uploading this um, chart on our web page uh, yes. for, for our blogs and podcasts. So look out for that chart too. Yes. Mm. All right. So that's the ease of picking up. Now mm-hmm. let's move on to our second criteria, which mm. is versatility, meaning you, uh, whether you can play solo or purely accompaniment or both. Mm. Yeah. So looking at the strings... Yes, strings, I would say it is... B? Definitely, it is more of a solo instrument. Mm-hmm. Whether can it be used to play accompaniment? Yes, you know, you play... St- String ensembles, you know, yeah. it's a, quite a good example of it also. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like... And yeah, I would, I, would, I would think it's in a B tier. Not so bad that it's C. It's, it's definitely a wonderful solo instrument, but it's a good accompaniment. It's a good accompaniment... <laughs> um, when you have lots of people playing together. Oh, maybe on its own, you'll be kind of weird or so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or especially playing broken chords, they'll be kind of... Yeah, kind, kind, kind of, of uh, awkward. Uh. Yeah. So B or C? I, I would say A, you know, because... <gasps> Is this the biasness talking or... <laughs> no. Um, logically, objectively speaking. So we are only looking... At the instrument if it's playing by itself is it if it's if it's uh, only playing by itself then i would say uh a b tier yes yeah, let's look at it it's just by itself okay okay mm, a b tier for all the three hoots yeah all the three hoots um i think Kao Hu, i would give it a c tier <laughs> <now. laughs> yeah at least Zhong Hu, you're in a range to play a compliment whereby you won't overbear you won't be overbearing yeah you will you will not be too um to attention grabbing. Too too is what yeah. Uh, attention <laughs> grabbing. <laughs> yeah, you'll not be too attention grabbing. You'll not grab the the soloist lime like. Ah yeah, yeah, that's one way of putting it also. Mm. So, okay, so that's the strings. Now let's look at the plug. Yang Qing. Yang Qing, of course, it is S tier as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for you to say that. <laughs> oh, so Yang Qing has two S already. Oh, don't worry. We, we, have, we have still two more. Yeah, we'll come to the part where, yeah. where I'll give it an F. <laughs> hey, <laughs> the lower is here. We don't flunk instruments. Okay, so S tier for Yang Qing. I mean, needless to say, it is known as the Chinese piano for that reason because mm-hmm. accompaniment, uh, melody. I mean, if Ya yeah, Er, whose best friend is the Yang Qing, back then before piano accompaniment start to get more popular. So I would think uh, Yang Qing, I mean, as a Yang Qing player myself. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I agree. Mm. Yes. No question about it. What about, okay. Uh, but I think the one that only differentiates from piano is you can only play maximum two notes. Mm. Yeah. But other than that, playing broken chords, playing accompaniment is a wonderful instrument yeah. to play in. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm harping on. Huh? No pun. Good <laughs> job. <laughs> oh, finished. No, I mean, we don't have to talk much about Yang Qing. Okay, all right. <laughs> we know, it's <laughs> S-tier. <laughs> yes, Gu Cheng also S-tier. Yeah, right. Because it it itself already sounds so wonderful as a solo instrument. So, mm. um, ex- like a lot of expression. But at the same time, it's mellow enough to play accompaniment. And it sounds so like flowing water also. Yeah, it sounds like a harp. Right? Yeah, so definitely mm. an S-tier instrument. But- but there, in terms there of are versatility. yes, yes. There are some limitations. Just far uh, and T. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's no, <laughs> yeah, the there's no far and T. For... Do you think that would dark mark and turn it into A tier? Uh, no, 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 no. no. Yeah. yeah, I think the uh, company, uh, companies that we play gigs with the Guzheng mm. players, they are also wonderful, mm-hmm. and they really elevate the the gig. Also, I, I think. Yes, yes. Okay, so, pipa. Pipa. I would say it's an A or B. Eh? Because it's such an expressive instrument on its own, in solo, wonderful. Expressive, yeah, but we are comparing whether can it play accompaniment a compl- and a compliment. solo. Maybe because of its tone, like the yin se, the tone color is such a standalone sound. So it cannot be an accompaniment instrument? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, on its own, I think I see more of a, like always taking the charge melody, but uh, we also play a lot of gigs. And yeah, then and then like ching, 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 ching. It sounds it's good fine, also. Nah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe A-tier. A-tier. Yeah. A-tier. Okay. Just right. because of how unique it sounds and maybe difficult in playing chords. 
No, just just so that it can also play chords mm. and uh, it can I play. I think the f- using five fingers uh, technique also makes it quite a versatile instrument in terms of playing accompaniment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. <laughs> you gave a funny look. <laughs> what about Liu Qing in t- versatility? I think it would be B. Right, because it's a... Because of the, the, the range pitch. of the instrument. Mm, yeah. the, the it, it functions like a zhong ran, but it just doesn't sound like one also. Mm. Yeah. It's just like, uh, but wait, what do you think? Um, does it sound like a mandolin? Man, uh, mandolin plays a lot of chords also. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we haven't explored Liu Qing enough. Yeah, that yeah. would be quite a... But I would say B for now. B for now, I think yeah. it's a, it has Maybe a potential. Maybe in the ne- next patch update, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> it has potential to become A. All right. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, so Zhong Ran. Zhong Ran, I would say S tier. Ah. ah. Okay, you, coming from a guitar player background, I would, I mean, uh, uh, on your perspective, definitely an S tier accompaniment instrument. But why giving it that S tier? Well, it can definitely play solo notes and it mm-hmm. can definitely play chords. It can, it can function um, like a guitar. You can strum it, you can play broken chords. Yeah, I think you really turn the tone right into a guitar sometime. <laughs> Me, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. And it's a, a very wonderful uh, experience to witness. And the tone right, the tone is not very um, bright and not very <laughs> attention grabbing. Ah. Yeah, so it is perfect. For um, accompaniment, yeah, and, and even playing solo, you mean? I, I'm playing solo. When it plays solo, it 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 does stand. It does mm. come out. It stand can stand out. on its own. Also. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> it stands. It stands out too. Yeah, yeah. When playing solo, it also stands out. Mm. So yeah. But in that notion, what about that, right? I would place it in the same tier. It's as as weight no. Ah, ah, having some doubts. Yes, I think I because would, of the range of the instrument, and because it is so difficult to pl- to f- to fret chords. Oh, but just because of the distance of the fret, because the strings tension is ah, very high. It's like almost like a semi bass. Yeah, it's like trying to trying to strum a cello, maybe. Oh, I mean, you do that too. Yeah, but <laughs> it's not so easy. So A tier, B tier. Taran, um, did, Zhong Ran is an S tier for your, yeah. your books. But Taran, um, th- do you have a lot of Taran solos? Uh, not so much. Not it's so mainly much. used to play boom, boom, boom. I mean, of course, they have very melodious phrases also, mm. but usually the orchestra have to like shh, quiet down so you can hear the Taran also. Mm. B. Alright, B. Yeah. <laughs> Taran in B tier. Boo. Mm. Kind of sad. <laughs> How about Gu Qing? Oh dear. <laughs> Gu Qin ah. I, I, there, are, there are YouTube channels nowadays. Uh, there's this, I can't remember the name of the YouTube channel, but they have, they do covers using Gu Qin also. And it really, oh, I saw this video of uh, someone using Gu Qin to play Michael Jackson. Mm. I would say it's similar to Gu Zheng. Mm. But not as, vers- not as flexible as Gu Zheng perhaps. Because not, yeah, so not so many strings, mm. so the range is smaller. It's, it's, as a solo instrument, it's definitely wonderful. Yes, yes. Yeah, but in terms of accompaniment, maybe it's a little limited. But still fine, you know, because um, of it, it's not so attention grabbing mm. and it is in a pentatonic kind of way. So you can still. Maybe with the help of like miking to boost the sound <laughs> out a bit. <laughs> but I would still give it an A tier. You would give it an A tier. Yeah. All right. You know how so that's it, all uh. for the plugged. Okay, now we're in the wind section. <laughs> this should be quite fast. <laughs> nah, okay, we're, we're like... <laughs> we already have an answer in our head already. But okay, in terms of versatility, the D is Fang D Chui D. I would say C. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just not an accompanying instrument. Yeah. It's so intention grabbing. It's, it's so... Uh, <laughs> Bursting through the orchestra kind of um, fashion <laughs> tone. <laughs> <laughs> then how about sonas? <laughs> Same. I'm sorry, sona players, but yes, I mean definitely a wonderful um, solo instrument, but accompaniment maybe. Mm. Yeah, but how about zhongying sona? You also put it in C. Zhongying sona, kinda, kinda. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the shengs though. 
Ah, the songs I probably would put it A or S tier. I would say S tier. Right, especially the Gaoing Sheng or both songs. Both songs are. Ah. Mm, S tier because uh, what differentiates from Yang Qing, uh, Zhong Ran, Gu Zheng, Sheng can play even more notes. Mm. Yeah, I mean, of course, if you put a cluster of notes, people might not understand the beauty of <laughs> the stacking chords, so many chords. Mm. But uh, it's still versatile enough to play like uh, running notes. Yeah, and it, it's not like very ta 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 ta, but also very linear, very flowy kind of uh, sound also. Mm. Yeah, so I think Gao Ying Sheng, Zhou Ying Sheng, definitely an S tier yes. instrument in terms of versatility. Yeah, playing solo and playing um, accompaniment and both together. How about uh, the Hulu Si? Hulu Si definitely cannot play accompaniment. Ah, I'm sorry. Not cannot play, like, it would sound weird. Uh. <laughs> I would say Si. <laughs> Xiao. Uh. Xiao. C. Xiao <laughs> actually. actually Xiao, I would say B. Yeah, I would say B because you can actually hold a long note. It's like a. It's mellow, it's nice. Mellow, nice. It's like the ambiance. Yes, a ambience nice, nice drone kind of thing. <laughs> to, yeah, for other in- instruments to play on top of it. Uh, Guan. Yeah, we forgot about Guan. Mm. 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 C. C. Okay. Uh, C. It's a wonderful m- metal, like sounding instrument but it's just can't really do much accompaniment imagine using squan to play (laughs) 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 or even a long note (laughs) it it would sound rather unique uh, the tone yeah kind of droney but not as soothing as the xiao perhaps Mm. yeah okay bao bao would be c tier c but it's also quite yeah, but it sounds. Mm, yeah. yeah, I was gonna say like, oh, it sounds so nice. The sound tone is so interesting. Bao and Hulu Si are quite similar. Mm. Very unique tone, which will be too attention grabbing if it's trying to play nah. accompaniment. Mm. Shin, C, si. really? Shin le. Shin Shin is something like Xiao. I would say um, B. You know because ah. of its tone quality it can you know okay it can't definitely can't play broken chords mm. like what the some the s tier a tier people can do but as an accompaniment okay <laughs> <laughs> okay okay see, see. <laughs> yeah. because i'm just thinking that they can play one note and uh, and maintain a drone but that's not good enough. No? Yeah, yeah, we have to be more objective yes, in this yes. criteria. So definitely a C tier yes. in terms of versatility for the okay. shape. <laughs> uh-huh. 